Kasor kajala kalapan jemut na kistat jongkari United States of America baduri Israel kibale research haka bioteknologi sepan penkut ya kiwa na kebenda ban lapan penkut biang ya kawa luka kum kemenor. Umenteri Katanat Forest and Environment U James PK sangma habakran bagi lak patai kubor ulong bagi lapan jemut banyak ren manlah kepor bat kistat na iri USA bat Israel kibale research haka bioteknologi ban lapan penkut ya kawa luka kum kemenor. Umenteri ulah pentipru bakasor kajala kaladap rai ban penteri kamno daka fai itu remediation ne kebut ban penokam da ki dieng ba im ban penkhut ya kawa ya kala er ba kendo kum kalat ba serta ban penkhut ya kawa luka kepada kawai ne ki wa ba he ba east central sesuik ka sorkar kala sim ya kene karai hadian ke jengkala rong blue biang jong kawa luka dang shen ke jengkala rong jong ne kawa ke de ke baju jaman laus nem ke belas dang na rus nem ar jah nyo u james ulap pentip ba katanat cloud kala penokam menta da ka fighter remediation kum ke jeng persiang ne ke pilot project ban yo i ya ke jeng trekam Kat kum kejeng ong jong u, ka fighter remediation kedai kejeng penangkam daki dieng ba im ne sok pailan na kebenta ban weng ya ki kenja ba long bi na ka um. We are here to actually have a look at the Luka River which we all know has been under great stress. There has been many reports of the way that the pH level of the river is very low. And it has affected the aquatic life, uh, the marine life. And uh, today, um, I'm very happy that um, this project, which has been undertaken under the District Mineral Fund um, for psychoremediation, um, this is an ecological solution, and uh, to address the uh, problem that is uh, here uh, being faced by the Nuka River. Um, this method uh, that is there behind me, as you can see, is uh, uh, by way of uh, algae that um, psychoremediation is basically a pro process where algae is used to um, break down, um, accumulate, break down uh, the uh, certain components which are there in the river which uh, create high acidity. Uh, so uh, we've seen that um, this is uh, very successful in its implementation. This is basically a pilot project that was started in the year 2019. And uh, the success is something that we wish to replicate all across the state. Um, this is an ecological solution and uh, for us it's very important as a forest department that whatever um, solutions that we find are such that uh, uh, are eco-friendly and ecological in nature. So um, we are we're very happy and uh, this is um, also something that um, has happened because um, a lot of people have done a lot of research in this matter. Um, back in the year 2011, I think uh, two scientists from Shillong, they were able to uh, report that uh, uh, certain algae, um, microspora, quadrata was in existence in some of the rivers which were uh, affected due to acid mi mine drainage. So um, this is, um, I think, um, a long way from there till now where we have this uh, project. And I'm very thankful to uh, the villagers uh, who uh, have um, really cooperated here. And uh, this is uh, something uh, which cannot be a success until and unless the support and the cooperation of uh, the stakeholders, especially the villagers who live um, near the rivers, their support comes through. So there are many organizations like the Seven Sisters, uh, Seven Villagers Association and other uh, civil society um, who have come forward and have been very uh, supportive of this. And uh, now we are looking at um, how we can scale this model up, how we can uh, use this for um, the process of psychoremediation, for um, cleaning up our and rejuvenating, <coughs> rejuvenating our rivers, um, you know, many of which are uh, facing the same kind of problems in terms of the pH levels. And uh, we are very hopeful that uh, we'll be able to uh, you know, replicate this and uh, successfully replicate this and clean up our rivers. <coughs> 